For me, it was like really imperative to find a gym, A, that's close within local proximity, and B, that I can connect with. And I think I was on the verge of joining another competitor. Well, yeah, that would have been a big mistake <laughs> <laughs> at the time. Um, and I think what really gravitated me towards here was the branding and also the coaches. For example, you specialise in strength and conditioning, Dan specialises in boxing, Kay specialises in yoga. So you've got a variety of choice and I think that's what was the real value for money for me. That is one of the key factors I think in probably all you over here as well in comparison to other gyms. Definitely, I echo that and I think even the classes, every class you do is hard. Like it doesn't get, even if you're here as a member, I've been here for a year, every class you do, you push, you push and you feel like the sessions are repetitive and you really get the best out of it, so yeah. So what would you say uh, to someone who's looking to join UDQ? How would you recommend it? I would say, don't hesitate. Come down, try it, try a class, you know. Bring a friendly, that's a great option to come and actually see what the classes are like. Come in, it's a friendly community, and you can pick and choose which classes you want to do. Any personal goals for 2022? Like for vibes or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, for my soft drinks business, just continue the momentum, get as many stop lists as possible and get the can into many hands as possible. From a fitness perspective, again, um, I really want to get rid this shirt. Yeah. Um, that's, my, right. <laughs> that's my overall aim. No um, pressure on me. Yeah. <laughs> um, not, not, not for aesthetics, but more for like, obviously your mental. I think if you mask your mental, then obviously the, it's a byproduct of yeah. keep working out, you'll see the results. <laughs>